So, hello, my name is Arto, I'm from the Hirtman team, and I'm with Joseph. Hi. Can you tell a little bit about yourself and about your slings? Um, so I've been slinging for ooh, about eight, uh, yeah, eight, nine years, I think, at this point, so quite a long time. Um, I have used various slings over various years of varying different quality. The one I've been using the most recently is uh, this one I made myself. This one is made out of uh, nettle fibre. Nettle fibre? Uh, so, stingy nettle. And um, it's coated quite liberally in beeswax, so it's completely waterproof, but um, it has a, nice. has a Kevlar cracker, so it's quite loud. But um, yeah, I've been uh, doing a lot of slinging. I've gone to some of the international competitions in Ibiza. Nice. Um, Have you won any? Uh, my team has won. Uh, has won. I've, nice. I've made sure I've been on the winning teams. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. In, in fights, it's always important to pick the winning team. Yes, the exactly. Winning team. Yes. <laughs> so, nice. How much power can you generate with the, with the sling? How much does it? It's kind of something hard to measure because it can really depend on the slinger themselves and then things like how long the sling is. A longer sling up to a certain point generates more power, it's a bigger lever. But then uh, I know some people that uh, have used quite short slings, like shorter than this one, and they can generate a lot of power. It kind of comes down to the body mechanics and how you. How it's, it's very much like sort of baseball, how different different uh, pitchers have different power and speed and everything like that. So it's kind of hard to say. The, there was one study that said that it generates similar power to a 45 Magnum. However, the testing of that was somewhat questionable uh, exactly how that was worked out is a little it's it's kind of debated still as to if that's yeah. accurate but it it generates a lot of power yeah, it must matter a lot what kind of stone you are using yes that too there's like various different sort of weights and sizes like these ones i brought they're painted orange so you yeah. to find there's this one which is 172 grams and then one that's 136 grams but there's quite a wide range of uh, ammo that's been found that it's very hard to say in the uh, in the historical record what is actually sting, sling ammo and what is just Stone. rocks because <laughs> it's just round rocks for the most part. So um, from the international competitions, from what I've seen, people usually use around somewhere between 70 grams, maybe. Well, I've seen some people use like 20 grams, yeah. little tiny stones, but all the way up to like 200 grams is usually the the most common range. There's some people that throw like huge monster rocks. Like this, yeah. this one is like 389, which I use oh. for I use this for for a staff sling. But some people will just sling this, and uh, yeah, they're pretty monstrous, <laughs> monstrous yeah. throwers. So. But I guess there is like like this doesn't mean it's more powerful. It just no. Um, what I found it it's kind of again it, it's very hard to say defensively with a lot of sling because there just hasn't been sort of the research on it, but. Um, for the most part, I would say that a big heavy rock is traveling slower, but it's going to hit with more power. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of it. It can sometimes be a little bit more accurate using a heavier rock because you can kind of feel where it is in the air. As yeah, you're I understand that. So um, in that way, it can kind of depend. Like it, it all comes down to such tiny like moments of when exactly you release the sling and yeah. all these things that it can really change what's accurate, what's powerful. So yeah, it's quite a it's... wide range. So from what distance are you dangerous from? What, what is your, your fighting distance? I would say personally about 20 meters or so. That's, like, that's, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Um, I, usually I'm slinging a little bit uh, closer than that. But um, uh, for the international competition there's uh, two different distances. Well, two, maybe sometimes three. Uh, 15 meters with tennis balls, because tennis balls don't travel as far. They're lighter yeah, and they yeah. catch the air more. So, it's shorter distance for tennis balls and then um, and also for women and children in the Ibethan competitions they have it at 15 meters and then uh, with stones but for the male competitors it's 20 meters and then sometimes they have 30 meter competitions as well yeah. so 20 30 meters is usually seen as like the general distance um, but like in historical battle it's kind of there's two different ways you could use a sling you can either throw really high and far like yeah and then trust that fall yeah. down damage to be yeah high so enough like 100, 100 120 meters is usually yeah. like pretty average I've, I've know some people but you need bigger targets like yes groups of yeah people groups of people yeah, yeah yeah like i've i know some people that have thrown like uh 200 meters uh with a sling before and i think the record is 
400 something but that was particularly <laughs> impressive like no one no one I know other than this one guy has m managed to get 400 meters. Were so. there witnesses? Yes it's a it was a Guinness World Record it got replaced by a another person because they cha they had the title of uh, furthest slung object yeah and they used like a dart system with a release mm. thing and no one no I know none of the real slingers count that as the real one the other yeah. the one before that was uh, he used an actual just a normal stone and a yeah, normal yeah. sling so he's like he's seen as the, the best Larry Bray is the name, but, amazing uh, yeah that is like like the fifth 20 15 meters is very interesting for for I'm not a really good spear thrower hmm. but I'm I'm relatively dangerous to a human sized target from 10 steps away like, yeah. like I can I can I can still be in movement and, and, and do yeah. my throw from ten, 10 steps away yeah. while while being active and, and protecting myself yeah it's it's not really strong throw but sharp objects are, are yeah uh, I don't need strength they, yeah, they, 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 they do they the work yeah. for me yeah. it's the tool I think does it I, I think with a sling you can get like I think from 20 meters you can get quite a quite a strong throw yeah, so you're like a, a double from the from my day distance yeah. I'd say yeah. and it it's usually said that with the sling that they would be a much further distance that you could throw them with like a bow yeah um, uh, although that again is like throwing up and trying yeah, to yeah, land yeah, into yeah. a group rather than like close range but yeah. I think um yeah and it's really like yeah. interesting to talk about the context since we talk a lot about like like the development of shields for example from from the late Viking age, the shields change from this kind of type. Mm. When when the formation fighting becomes more common, it seems that the shield types also change. Yeah. So this is more of a, in, in my thinking, the the skirmish context is more mm. important yeah. in, in our testing. So the 20 meter distance is really, yeah. or 15 meter distance is really really relevant yeah. to fighting with this kind of weaponry yeah. that we are having. I think as well, like with uh, the sling, um, I've done some testing of slinging with a shield, uh, like center grip shield, and it is nice. and it's very much possible with a center grip, grip shield to sling if you have like a bag with stones yeah. ready, you can do it quite easy and keep yourself protected at the same time. So um, yeah, I think that that's something that was, was seen in some depictions of slingers of them using shields, and it's completely possible to sling with a shield as well. Fantastic! So. We should we should you should send us the pictures and yeah, I've got could... a video actually. Yeah, up the, yeah, nice. Yeah, them, really, yeah. really cool. The shield is is this is the this is my my I'm most proud of this construction. This is the first one I've ever ever got to work. <laughs> it's it's from spruce planks, radially cut spruce planks. I only had rawhide on the on the on the facing for for I was so proud of my radially cut <laughs> spruce planks that I wanted to show them off. I thought they were beautiful and, and, and there was a lot of effort on, on, on making the blanks. Mm -hmm. The overall measurements are inspired by the Tiran Bok find, and 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 like that find, I haven't used any nails. I've I've, I've, I've used rawhide and antler to tie the handle in and glue, and also for the wooden boss made out of out of birch bar. I cannot say that. That's why I don't well, usually yeah. speak, speak English in my. I don't usually speak in my video because I cannot <laughs> pronounce most of the stuff. <laughs> but then the antler that I've tied it in with has been getting looser, so I've been tightening it up for mm. today to keep it a bit more in place. Sinew. Sinew, S not antler. Not antler, sinew. Thank you. Thank you. That's the right that's the right word. So this is why I don't usually speak English in my in my in my videos. And when I write the blog post I have time to Google what the words are. So and, and, and the raw height right now, this is this being inside for a long time. This is yeah. really dry raw height. And all the wood is really dry, and also the glue is super dry now. And as yeah. this height glue crystallizes when it's dry, mm. it is it, it breaks like glass. Oh, okay. So so this is now the most vulnerable I think the shield can be to blunt damage. Okay. I've really like a uh, lot of ideas about the about the wood and boss since since we've made ones from 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 just blank wood mm. and those can be penetrated with a shield yeah. shield throw a spear throw they cut through yeah. and the blue one may, may is is super resistant to cuts yeah. this is i think from an arrow and these are spear throws somewhere here and these yeah. are sharp swords yeah. and it's really really resistant to cuts but then again i have fragments here like like little this one i've glued back together maybe it's not seeable for camera but there are fractions yeah. here and it is okay. not so resistant like i think this is more vulnerable 
yeah, this will break more easily yeah. from blunt damage. Okay. And, and, and there are a lot of stories about uh, from people who do reenactment and have been building these that over a long period of time they eventually they explode. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm expecting us to, so these might break because they are dry, yeah. they are not so, when they are wet they are a bit yeah, bendy no, yeah. and yeah, so cool. this might be just knocked away. But the uh, thing I'm, I'm excitingly <laughs> expecting is that you explode this, that it, it gets to explode. Yeah, let's see. Because so because so it's already like quite bristled, yeah. so, so the explosion is... Yeah, it's possible. I'll try my best. Yeah. Yeah, you'll do. Yeah. Of course, uh, there's also like the wood is dry, so it yeah. isn't so when the wood is wet, it behaves differently. Now yeah. the leather is dry, dry, the glue is dry, the wood is dry. So this is now the most vulnerable to blunt damage that mm -hmm. I've had this shield in testing. Okay. So, and, and and we got the, I I believe the greatest amount of blunt damage. Yes, I think especially with the staff sling, something yeah. like this coming in. Yeah, I, I think let's just start with that. Let's let's yeah, yeah, we, we'll let's take it tease slow, with yeah. it. <laughs> so tell me about the staff sling. Yes, uh, this staff sling I have is uh, I'm not sure sure of the to total size. It's very difficult to make a um, sort of historical uh, based staff sling because there's just not. I don't know if there's any actually um, historical examples uh, except through art. Yeah. So and yeah, we the, got the same problem with spear length, like like yeah, you, yeah, it's the same same sort of situation. They, they just don't last, and um, I think with the artwork they vary a lot in length. There are ones same that, with spears. Yeah, yeah, there are ones that are like even like about as long as an arm. There's yeah. ones that are like taller than a person. They, they vary a lot, and then also the length of the sling. Some of them have like quite long uh, slings. Like this is, I would say this is even a little short compared to some. So some of them are basically just like a piece of a piece of leather that's like about this long uh, at, when it's fully when it's actually loaded it's something more like this sort of length so like really yeah. short just at the very end so it's it's really hard to say exactly what is a historical staff thing because they varied so much and then they were used for a very long time there's like uh, evidence that they were used uh, in the Roman period, like especially on ships, and yeah. then also medieval period. And they, it's kind of this weird period in between those where they don't seem to be turning up very much. But yeah, um, yeah and then after sort of, I think it's something like 15, 1600s, they seem to just stop being used, I think, probably because of crossbows and yeah. uh, the better bows coming into use. So, But they were particularly good in siege battles because um, for the defending side, because yeah. you could just have a load of these just stood up in a corner somewhere with a pile of big rocks, and they're a lot easier to use than the hand sling. They're very simple, especially if, especially in the sort of situation where you've got an army over there and you need to hit something. Yeah. You can just sling and throw something at. Uh, this is not as much of a precision weapon, although I think in some ways it's easier to get quite accurate with it, but. It's it's best if someone has no no prior experience, they can just grab it and throw a stone and do some damage. So, cool. Yeah. It's really cool. So I guess it's time for destruction then. Um, yes. um This is very dear to me, but but I'm getting really used to repairing it. So <laughs> everything you see here is is love I've given to it, and, and as you can see from the. Um, the first times I repaired this, I, I was taking some time and, and made some good quality repairs. But then later on, I've just like like ah fuck it, good enough. <laughs> so it's patched. And these are from axes. A lot of spear and arrow yeah. throws and sword thrust, thrusts. I don't remember which each one. Yeah. And I and let's see. There's also like interesting like how the repairs can can stand against the blunt damage since they will yeah. resonate through the. Like this is a nice drum, it will resonate yeah. through, yeah. through the whole shield. So let's also see how the fix is. Yeah. This is I've used a thicker glue, I, I cook less water and more glue and, and when I fix the, this stuff. So so it's more crystallized, mm. so it's more vulnerable to yeah. to blunt damage. So let's see how what happens. This yes. is like there's a lot of layers of interest in, yeah. Yeah, in the blunt damage. I definitely want to see, see what happens here. Yeah. So I'll tie this to a tree and, and, and I won't stand behind it. Yes, probably a good idea. <laughs>
Nice. Where did we hit? It's just here and just here. Yeah, we got little paint marks for the hits. It's nice. But it did nothing to the shield. And they're really close to the to the uh, tree. To the trunk. tree, so it didn't get to, it didn't get to like bend away no. from the damage. It's maybe. Am I marking it? Yeah, I think I'm looking at yeah, it's pretty damage. Yeah, not much. Yeah. Do you want to try closer? I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's, Let's do, do ten steps. Can do. Yeah. Shoot. That was the first one. I think this one is new. Is yes. One? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's it cracked a bit. Mm. The low one. It's hard to mm. say. It's maybe slightly bulged. I don't know. It's hard to say really. Hard to say if there's any new damage. So now we change to big stones. That's 387 grams. <laughs> I heard a crack. Is there something? Um, Is this old? I think that's old. That's old? Yeah. It's from this one. Yeah. But the other one hit somewhere. I think it was, it was, low, I think it was low down here somewhere. Yeah. Maybe here. Was it? No, no, it's this, this, one? this one can. It, oh, this it, one. it can be this one. Yeah. Possible. So let's get that side. It's a little bit off, but it was off before. It wasn't like stiff. Mm. This was dried off, dry, and cuts easily. See? So the earlier shot cut this. Earlier CD. shot cut this. Okay. Yes. 
so it hit there and do we have a crack that looks like a crack to me Arto, is this a new crack that looks like a new one yeah i don't remember this one nice this, that's old one yeah this is yeah. old one but that's a new one yeah yes it's doing well getting there and shoot nice This at least opened. Yeah, yeah. it's all sword yeah. cut, like, repaired with glue and height, and it's now open. Not like devastatingly open, since I can't like it's still stuck with the glue from the behind of the ledger. This is still holding yep. together yeah, somewhat. I can see the daylight coming through. Yeah, yeah. it's nice because you can now look through the shield at your enemies. <laughs> yes. Let me see. I can push it. Yeah, yeah. There's back on the place. Nice. Oh, okay. And cut. More. Sure. What are the results? Hmm. I think the first one was up here. So there? Um, I'm yeah, not this sure. One. Is this? I think this is maybe a new crack. That looks a little cracked. That's I'm a bit sure. cracked. Like a li yeah, little bit a little of shatter. Bit, yeah. Shattering is there. Yes. And then the other one was lower. Where was that one? Was it here? I think. Could have been. But yeah. Before, so we can soon see if it was newer or not. Yeah, I think this is a so new this crack. This has opened mm. a mo more okay. than it was yeah. open. Maybe. Let's check the video. We'll see it later. <laughs> and shoot. Yes. Did you hit the boss? I did. Just hit. Nice. That's a yeah. That's a good. Crack. That's a big crack. Can I see from the inside? And that's a new crack. So this is an, an arrow wound, an old arrow wound. And it's cracked from there forward. Yeah. And this is what I feel happens with the wooden bosses that it doesn't like, like like iron bends yeah. and get, and you can kind of kind of trust it to bend and and, and adapt. But this kind of this doesn't heal mm. in any way. I can, I've been putting a little bit of glue in it sometimes, but, but eventually this will explode. Mm. And there's, there, it's, it's really cheap to make a new one. Mm. It's, it's one day's work if you just get this kind of blur from somewhere. Well, <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, but uh, this is what happens to it eventually. That it will crack open. So the crack is visible on the inside too. Yeah, it runs all the way down here. Yes, this will break at some point. I think so. Just 100 more hits. So cool, that was... We got the boss hit finally, and there is a crack that can be seen on the inside mm -hmm. and on the outside. It's more clear, but it went through, it, like it cracked through. It didn't break it, and I'm happy that these this time yeah. like survived. survived they are really really weak when they are dry mm. and i i feel that it's really cool that they survived besides there was a boss hit like the cracks in here like especially on the on the on this this one opened yeah for real and there are a lot of cracks that are are kind of kind of 
seeable. Yeah, that's slightly coming through. Yeah. But and and it's so it's it was beneficial that I only put the front <laughs> layer so yeah. we can see some cracks. Yeah. We wouldn't we wouldn't know any any of the damage yeah. without if we got the back layer. Yeah. But overall it did well. It yeah, did really yeah. well. <laughs> I'm, I'm even like disappointed because I really want to find out about <laughs> why are some shields thick and mm. some shields are, are thin and I, I, I really believe there's a benefit for having a thick shield there mm. has to be since there are so many thick shields yeah and and this blunt damage thing was one that I was wondering about I think uh, this is kind of about what I expected really because with it being a composite material and having the different layers and the glue it, it's done about as much damage as, as I was expecting but um, I think maybe the difference is just that if you think about it, if you've got like 20 slingers they yeah. could be slinging a lot of rocks very quickly and uh, if they have the supply they can just keep slinging them all day yeah. so uh, maybe that's where it comes in that like this was me who I, I am not a historical slinger some of the historical accounts are probably exaggerated but there is some evidence that they were very very good so I think if you had 20 really well trained slingers slinging against a group I don't know how long this shield would last against them like uh, if you're getting hit by 50 rocks maybe in a space of a couple of minutes like it I don't know how well it would stand up so maybe yeah that's and they're like like cracks like this kind of yeah. cracking damage it, it, it compounds yeah like, yeah unlike yeah. cuts that you know the cut yeah. is in uh, that's the damage it, yeah. it's done but this kind of cracking it compounds and finally yeah. it will be yeah. softer. The original find with the with the thin thin shield I've modeled this with had a had something to soften up the front. Mm. I like like some, I don't remember exactly. It had grass padding under grass, the leather. Grass padding under the leather, yes. Yeah. So it, it even gives it like a like a more yeah. cushioned area. Yeah, yeah. cushioned area uh, survivability. Yeah. So, so the idea that this cannot take this kind of damage for long yeah. is really important for for a fight that doesn't get started. That yeah. we don't we yeah. don't get to rush the enemy. We yeah. don't get the get the fight yeah. to the skin. Well, that's that's kind of the way that I've always thought of uh, how a slinger would be used. Because a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on the yeah. fact that it's it's very deadly to get hit by a rock, but yeah. really. If someone's wearing enough armor they, and with yeah, a good, good enough shield, yeah, then they can survive being hit by a sling. It might not be fun, but I think that's part of what they were used for: is that yeah. they were used to annoy, to harass, to distract, um, to suddenly surprise, like to cause confusion. Because I mean, if you're wearing uh, armor and a rock hits you, then it might not hurt you, but it's going to bounce around. And if you're in a tight formation, it's going to be bouncing around, hitting people. So it's going to cause a lot of confusion. It's going to be difficult to give orders in that sort of scenario. Um, so I think that's where really the sling kind of shines, it's like a skirmishing weapon. And, and something I like about the sling is that, that even though we only had few painted rocks, rocks aren't expensive in a way, no, you can, you can no. have the whole village full of kids to yeah. collect them and, like, and, and they are the one, one thing that is wasteable, you don't yeah. need a blacksmith to make an arrowhead. Yeah, you can you can throw as many rocks as you want. Like all, all these rocks I found in Finland, just on the ground. And what what's great about Finland is because there was the glaciers that came through yeah. at the ice age. When they retreated, they left a load of really rounded granite stones. So I mean, they do break. Uh, we did break a fair few of them, but they only broke because they hit other granite. Yeah. Uh, this if this hits metal, it, I know for a fact it doesn't break. I yeah. hit metal steel pans and they don't break, um, which. It, it depends on the area that you're getting the rocks, obviously, like um, in the uh, Balearic Islands where I've been doing the competitions, those rocks do shatter uh, against metal. But but that's ones... also nice because then it's like a grenade. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't like shattering rocks <laughs> yeah, exactly. next to my helmet. Like, exactly. Yeah. My, my eyes are too close to yeah. use it. I, I have heard that they there's uh, some accounts of using like, um, I think it was uh, like, uh, the word like li like lie uh, balls which would then explode and sort of make a choking sort of dust so in that way it's almost chemical warfare yeah, and, yeah. Uh, ancient chemical warfare so I don't, again it's hard to say with any of these accounts how accurate that hasn't been much testing in yeah. the modern day but I can imagine that yeah an exploding rock is of any type is not going to be very fun <laughs>
Yeah, I, 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 I don't like exploding rocks. Those are not my favorite kind of rocks. No. I like the peaceful ones that go grow green stuff. Yeah, That's those it. are much better. Yeah. <laughs> like those more. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed that, that it didn't crack more. Like I was expecting, mm. like, like I was expecti expecting to find out that. And I dried this. Like this was yeah, yeah. as dry as I can get it. Yeah. It's been long time inside in a warm scenario so it doesn't get weaker than this against yeah. the plant damage I, I think that's with my because i i used a lot of um wooden boards as uh, targets and what i found is that if they're hit like hundreds of times yeah and they're left out in the in in nature just uh, in the grass then uh, over like a few summers then they will like split in half but um and that's like with very thick pieces yeah. of wood they they do split from a sling but it does have to be very weak weathered wood. I think the sort of wood that you'd be making a shield with and then if you're looking after it for any amount of time, I think it would be okay against a single slinger. But I think that is the thing, if it's if there's multiple slingers over a full battle getting hit constantly with stones, then I think it would yeah, the, last too long. Eventually it gives you the, yeah. the reason to initiate a, in, yeah. initiate yeah. an attack because yeah. you cool. can you don't want to continue taking yeah. taking the slowly compelling Combining yeah. damage. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. yeah. yeah. So thank you. It was really nice. Thank you. Thank you for the shield yeah. <laughs> and the practice. <laughs> nice.